Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Fuller Field here at EMAT Stadium. We're ready tonight for the Grundy and Homenaker game. The captains for Grundy are Caden Vanover, number 24, 25, Ian Scamble, Scamble, and Austin Russell, number 51. T.J. Hubbard, number uh, 31 for... I'm sorry, that's not right. Also... 27 is Hubbard, T.J. Hubbard, Lucas O'Quinn, and number 50, and number 57 is, or number 50 is Lucas O'Quinn, I'm sorry, and uh, uh, looks like number five, Jason Dye. I'm sorry, that's 54, I think, uh, Austin Marsh. 16 is not dressed, but that's Isaac Perkins out there also for the coin toss. And I'm not sure who the referees are, probably just as well. I'm Jamie Farley. I'll be doing the audio and Ernie Benko on the camera here for ARC TV. The coin, I think, has been tossed. We don't know what happened, but we'll tell you as quickly as we know. It looks like Grundy won, won the Grundy toss there. Won the toss. Grundy elected to receive. Honecker will defend the East Gold here at EMAT Stadium and we're not far away from kickoff. We'll be back with the opening kickoff. You're watching High School Football on ARC TV. That's a little bit unusual. Most time they defer anymore to the second half. Of course, I think it's about six one way and half a dozen the other. Yeah. <laughs>
this time we'd like you to please stand for the playing of the national anthem of the Labor Fighter Marching Band. Welcome football fans for tonight's contest. On behalf of the Virginia High School League, our superintendent, Dr. Gregory Brown, assistant superintendent, Mr. Scotty Fletcher, principal, Mr. Tony Brooks, assistant principal, Mr. Baker Bostic, athletic director, Mr. Trevor Coleman, coaches and staff, we'd like to welcome you to Holdacre and Fuller Field at EMAT Stadium for tonight's contest between the Grundy Golden Wave and our homestanding Holdacre Tigers. We ask that you support your team and our children by demonstrating good sportsmanship. Profanity, obscene gestures, racial slurs, threats, or acts of violence directed at officials, coaches, or players or the fans will not be tolerated. We would also like to remind you that no one is allowed under the bleachers during the game. Also, the stadium is a smoke-free, tobacco-free area. And we thank you for your cooperation and support. And, uh, the us all stand for the opening kickoff. Sean Gill will kick off for Hone Acre. Back deep is Roberts and Scammell for Grundy. Low kick hits at about the 35, bounces down. That's picked up uh, by Roberts, and he gets it back over the 30-yard line to about the... Uh, 32 or 33 yard line. We'll wait until they mark it. <coughs> Logan Lester, number one, should be the Grundy quarterback. We'll have to wait and see. They line up in the shotgun. Got wide receivers to the right. Ball snapped back. And nothing there. Honecker swarms the running back. He's going to lose a yard anyway. That was Scammell on the run, and he loses a yard. It'll be second and 11 for Grundy. We're just underway, and we're glad you joined us here on ARC TV. formation this time. Pitch wide. That's Scammell. He takes the ball out over the 35 up to about the uh, almost to the 39 yard line. He's about three yards short of the first down. Third down and three. Once again, T formation. Pitch to the left. That's Scammell. He takes it up over the 50 yard line into uh, Honeaker territory. They'll mark it at the Tigers. 49 yard line where it'll be first and 10. 
First drive of the game, Grundy got the kickoff. We've gotten a couple of first downs. Shotgun this time. That's Scamble once again off the left side. And on the he gets down close to the 40 yard line. line. Bandy, Parker Bandy. We're talking about that eight yard game. He's second out of two for the Golden Road. Second and two now for Grundy. Everything on the ground so far. Shotgun this time. And a little reverse action. That's Ethan Roberts back off the Number left two, side. Ethan and Roberts on the carry for the goal way for a first down. He picks up good yardage inside the Honeaker 35 yard line. They're going to mark it at the Tiger 34. It'll be first and 10 once again for the Grundy Golden Wave. 34 yard line of the Tigers for the Golden Wave. Craig Primal is the head football coach at Grundy. They come into the game at one and one. They beat Blacksburg at Grundy, and then they lost to Christiansburg. Direct snap this time to Scammell. He's off left side, and uh, 25 Scammell on the carry. Another good game. Tackled by 27 T.J. Hubbard. He's gonna pick up and number five Jackson Dye. That yeah, looks like about six, maybe six and a half yards. We'll six, call it third down, down and four. four. Second down and four, I'm sorry. Scammell, probably the son of a former good running back over Grundy. I remember he played there years ago, and I think he uh, coached some at Levin. Ball handed off to Scammell straight ahead, and he fights his way down, down first here the 15-yard line. So another first down for Grundy. I think that's their fourth one on this drive. They have it first and ten just shy of the Tiger 15-yard line. Once again in the shotgun, direct snap. Scammell loses it. Gets, gets on top of it. He was running before he caught the ball. Uh, jarred loose. He's going to lose a couple of yards. It'll be second and 12. It's going to be second down and 12. Mark the ball back uh, between the 18 and 19 yard line. T formation this time. Lester, Logan Lester under the center. Pitches it to Scammell. He's going wide, outruns the defender, gets around the corner, and goes out of bounds. Tackle by number 26, Scholar Miller. He's down to about the 13 yard line, I think. It'll be third down and about seven. It'll be third, and looks like about seven, maybe close to eight. Once again, T formation, wide receiver to the right. Pitch back here to Scammell. He has to cut it back in, and he runs through a bunch of tacklers and gets inside the five down close to the three-yard line. And that'll be enough for a first down. Along with number 50, Lucas Upwin. Ian Scammell. Scammell, uh, first down, though. He did most of that on his own. So first and goal from about the three-yard line. 7.37 left here first quarter. No score, but Grundy threatening. Grundy, a couple of substitutes come in and the play clock's getting down pretty close to the end there. They get to play off and direct snap there to uh, I to Scammell, I think. I believe that was Roberts that scored that touchdown, though. PA man said Scammell, but I believe the direct snap went to Roberts, and he took it in from three yards out. And Grundy draws first blood. They lead it 6 nothing. They'll try for the extra point. 
Looks like the kicker coming in there. Lester is holding in number 48, Deal. Carson Deal is the kicking it. 48, Deal with the kick, and, and the is no good. he misses it. I don't know whether it was blocked or not, forward. but it fell short. But anyway, the extra point's no good. So Grundy with a quick 6 nothing lead. They'll be kicking off to Honecker when we come back. You're watching High School Football on ARC TV. Jason died back deep with a short kick there. Kind of like an onside kick, but Honecker gets on it over there. By number 19, that Johnson. was Isaac Johnson that got on that right quick. So. Honecker with real good field position, they'll take off from their own 47 yard line. This Honecker lineup was kind of shattered last week down at Eastside. We'll have to look at it. Uh, who's 20? Good run. First play by the Tigers. Now, and he's going to get into the end zone. First play from scrimmage, that was Aiden Lowe. And he takes that ball. Forty, fifty-three yards for a home acre touchdown. So the Tigers not. The Tigers are not. Hensland about tying this game up and they're looking for an extra point. They usually go for two. They are in the shotgun. Deal handling the ball, he hands it off to his running back, and he stops short. So, uh, uh, extra points are no good. We're tied at six, right quick. We'll be back for the Tiger kickoff. You're watching high school football on ARC TV. Did you tell the radio boys? That was Scamble. I saw that too. And I thought it was Roberts. Okay, a lot of excitement here to start this one. Still 7.01 left in the first quarter. We're tied at six. Gill will kick. That's a little short kick. Fumbled on the right side. The ball's loose. There's a big scramble for it. Hold up and says they've gone. Grundy tried to field the short kick and it bounced off the receiver. I wasn't, I'm not sure who that was. It got loose and Honecker will take over on the Grundy 45 yard line. And once again, good field position for the Tigers. Kick was recovered by the team. Isaac Johnson for the Tigers. Johnson got the uh, fumble recovery. There's a handoff. Right side. Number 26 on the carry for the Tigers, Skyler Miller. Skyler Miller was the ball carrier. Loss of two. Ended up losing a yard or two there. We'll call it second and 12. Shotgun there, there's a handoff once again to number 19, Johnson on the carry, Isaac Johnson was on the carry. 
That was Horn carrying that ball. He's uh, changed jerseys on us because of the tire. It's going to be third down in about uh, third, third and 11 there for 11. the Tigers now. Two wide outs, one to either side. Man comes in motion. Little pass out here in the flats, completing. Number twelve, Aiden Low on the carry. Low carried, and he, he I believe, got a, I I believe he got enough down. for the first down. And it is a first down for the Tigers. Third and long, pick up a key first down. They get the ball down to the Grundy 35 yard line, where it'll be first and 10. This is a big game here in the Black Diamond District. Usually the winner of this game will go ahead, go on, and win the uh, district championship. Toneacre once again in the shotgun with a full house backfield. That was low with the carry, and he picks up maybe a yard. Good tick, White Bush, a good tackle for Grundy. Second and nine. Gill running with it on a little option play, cuts it back in and gets pretty Number good yard. The gets down close to the uh, 25 yard line. They're gonna mark him on the 27, looks like. He was tackled by number 88, Looney. He'll be two yards and short on the first five. down. We're tied at six here in the first three. quarter, 435 left in the quarter. Two yards. We've had a fast offensive number start seven. to this game. Third and short for the Tigers. That ball goes to low, and he's stacked up in the backfield. He's going to, he's going to lose a yard or two or three. Number two, Josh Roberts. He loses about uh, four or five yards back to the 29-yard line, so it's going to be fourth down and six. Of course, the Tigers are in four down territory, so they'll go for this in big, big fourth down play. Three wide receivers. Little throw out here in the flat. That's caught. Good for the first down. It's down close to the 15 yeah, yard line. To number 10, Landon Marsh for a first down. He was tackled by 24. Over. Landon Marsh caught that pass, got it down to the 17-yard uh, line of Grundy. Well, the Tigers will have another first down. 3.40 left here in the first quarter. Hand off up the middle. Like, I believe that was Landon Barsh who carried that ball. Tackled by 63 Looney. That could have been Horn, and though. Number two, Roberts. Yeah, that was Horn. Gave about three yards. Second down is seven Lund. after a three yard gain. Little pass out in the flats, caught once again. And uh, out of bounds there at the one. 26 of the Tigers, Tower Miller from. Scholar Miller caught that pass. He got it down to the two-yard line. So Honecker will have it first and goal. First and goal from about the two. From their two-yard line. First and goal for the Tigers. Once again in the shotgun with that full house backfield. Man goes in motion. And down close to the goal line. I think that was low on the carry. He stopped just short of the goal line. Right at the goal line. It's official. 
Down here's marked that thing. Looks like he's just two or three inches shy of the goal line. So it'll be second and goal for the Tigers. Yeah, we're seven, Gil, quarterback take for the touchdown. Gil, with a sneak, takes it into the end zone, and that puts Honecker up 12 to 6. We've got 220 left here in the first quarter. Pretty sure Honecker will go for two here. Tigers be going for the two-point conversion. Once again, full house backfield, all that shotgun. So it was intercepted by Grundy. And he is tackled over there. Of course, if you intercept the pass, recover a fumble, you know, you can take it in and get the two points as a defensive player. 2.20 left first quarter, Honeaker 12, Grundy 6. We'll be back with the Tiger kickoff. You're watching High School Football on ARC TV. Well, we have a Coleman, Mr. Hiss, Griffin Hanover, Emma Matney, Malia Maxfield, Summer Hart, Isabella Lowe, and the cheer coach is Deborah Deidre McLaughlin. Number two, Roberts and 24 Bell were deep to receive the kick. All right, Honecker and set to kick Gil off Gil once kick again. Gill will kick off for the Tigers. Short kick, hits the ground, fielded on about the 27 yard line. Good tackle by the Tigers. Looked like that was number six. Number 24, Ben over on the return. And he was tackled Austin. by number six for the Tigers, Austin Claiborne. Claiborne got the tackle. That was a good, quick tackle on the coverage there. They mark him at the 31 yard line of Grundy, where they'll have it first and 10. Grundy in the shotgun. Give it to the running back straight ahead. 22, Shamble on the carry. That's Scamble, I think. Back by 26 for the Tigers, Skyler Miller. He picked up about good gain. Yards. Seven yards, sweet, seven yards. Seven yard gain seven there, down second three. down and three. <laughs> Shotgun once again for Grundy. And that looks like Honecker jumped off sides. So that'll cost the Tigers five and that'll give them a first down. The official, the referee, they're checking with the other linesman to see what he's got. I didn't see any movement in the Grundy line, but uh, I think that's an offside call on uh, Dead ball the Tigers. <laughs> so that'll give Grundy a first down. That'll move the ball up to the... Uh, Grundy, 43-yard line, I think, where they'll have it first and 10. Officials having a little confab there, not sure what about. Have no way of knowing. <laughs> The referee's got a field mic on. Maybe if he turned it on, we'd know what they were saying, Ernie. Well, that's a pretty lengthy conference. Please put one minute 
Okay, they're going to adjust the time clock. It had run down. You pull it, Mark, a little bit closer to your mouth. You will not have to revert this page. They need to put a minute 45 back on the clock. I'm not sure what happened to it, but they've got to. I think he's got the time up there correctly. One minute, 45 seconds. So we're having a little delay here while they try to set the time on the clock there. They're wanting a minute 45 up there and we got a minute, got 14.5 seconds up there now. So I tell you what, these clocks are hard to adjust anymore. It takes a computer genius, really, to run these clocks anymore. But anyway, we've got 104 up there now. Maybe, uh, anyway, Grundy will have it first and 10. Uh, <clears throat> First and 10 for the Golden Wave at their own 43. Might be going to time it on the field now. That's quarterback. He fakes a handoff, goes out wide, picks up about five Number yards. One, Lester That's on Lester, the quarterback. Looks like Gain. Gain of about five. It, I call it a four yard, four yard game. It'll be second, second and six. six That's Scammell. He's running left, cuts back, and he's tackled as he gets over the uh, Her Honecker 40 yard line. By They're going to mark him on you about the Honecker 38 yard line, so good game for Ian Scammell. Scammell once again. He's Stacked up there. Oh, Quinn with a good tackle there. He stood him up. Lost the yard on the play. It'll be second down 11. Oh, Quinn. Oh, Quinn made a good tackle. He got a hold of Scammell and didn't let go. T formation this time. Three receivers to the left, and there's a pitch back to Scamble. He tries to cut inside. And Three, two, on the carry. Not the much there. 82, Hawkeye Low, and Hawkeye Low will be the first down for the And time runs out at the first quarter. After a quarter to play, it's Honeaker 12. Grundy 6, you're watching High School Football on ARC-TV.